Hey there guys, this is Mr. Herbst here, and today my focus is going to be on the excretory system. Now the excretory system is also sometimes referred to as the urinary system uh, because, well, it is the system that produces urine. Um, the, main, the most important function about the excretory system is that it maintains homeostasis. It does that because it removes waste products from our blood. Um, your urine is uh, primarily composed of a lot of waste that your body doesn't want. It also helps to maintain the pH of blood. Now, the pH of blood is, is usually around 7.4, so it's slightly basic. And <clears throat> when, you're, when, you're, when, you, when the acidity of uh, your blood goes too low or, the, or it goes too basic or goes too high, your bodies don't work properly. So your excretory system ha helps to keep that pH in check. It also helps to regulate the amount of water that's in our blood. Now, there are many parts to the excretory system. The most important part is our kidneys. They, uh, they filter out blood. They take out impurities. And they also help to reabsorb um, the, uh, the water or the liquid that was taken out of the blood. So if you go ahead and look uh, over here in my diagram on the right, arteries, remember, are moving away from the heart. So arteries are going to supply the blood with supply the kidneys with oxygen, but also in the same time, the kidneys are going to... Um, filter out that blood that was in those arteries and now you got to kind of think about it like this somebody that doesn't drink very much water they don't have to use the bathroom very often why is that well it happens because the kidneys knowing that the body needs is not getting very much water um, from the in, in taken into their digestive system the body is going to uptake as much water as suck as much water out of that urine as possible it basically, to put it simply here, guys, people that don't drink enough water, their bodies go into sort of like a dehydration mode, and the, uh, their bodies try to hang on to as much water as they, ha as they can possibly get. So they don't, uh, they obviously they don't use the bathroom very much. So after the blood goes through the kidney, it's going to go out through the veins, and at this point it's been filtered, it's clean, uh, all the impurities have been removed. Now, any uh, urine that was produced by the, the kidneys travels down this thing called a ureter, and that carries the urine to the urinary bladder. We'll take a look at that, um, uh, at a diagram of that in a second. The bladder, though, is what is responsible for storing urine until there is a um, convenient place to go ahead and release it into the external environment. Um, <clears throat> how are the kidneys controlled? Well, it all has to do with what is in the blood at the time that it went into the kidneys. What needs to be altered? Well, your, your, your blood has a certain salt content or salt concentration. Over here, I know this is going way far back, but remember our laws of hypotonic and isotonic and hypertonic solutions. When your blood cells are in a isotonic solution, uh, that's what we want. The blood cells are, are plumpy and healthy. But when they go into a hypertonic solution, the blood cells begin to get all uh, swelled up. And so what happens? Our, our kidneys start to filter out water so we can prevent that swelling. And then right here, when salt builds up too much, uh, that's not good. So our, our kidneys are going to go ahead and uptake or, or put back as much water into our bodies as possible. It helps to uh, regulate the concentration of ions and salts in our bodies. Uh, here, I threw in this slide because I wanted to talk about what happens when kidneys fail and don't work properly. People have to go on what's called dialysis. Um, dialysis is uh, basically when people are hooked up to artificial kidneys. Uh, there's a tube that's inserted into somebody's arm. You can take a look over here at this picture. Um, there's a couple of tubes that are, sit are inserted in that person's arm, and blood is going to get sucked out of that person's arm and go through this machine, and it's going to get filtered out, and it's going to do the job that the kidneys would have done, and then it's going to get put back into that person's body. Now, the problem, though, is that this is a very time-consuming process. It takes several hours for a proper kidney dialysis and the thing is though that person is still living and all the toxins are going to build up in that person's blood again and you know in a matter of a couple days they have to go back in for uh, another set of dialysis treatment so uh, it's it's a very hard lifestyle to be on dialysis for a long time 
Uh, hopefully, though, a person that is on dialysis is also on a uh, waiting list to get a, a kidney transplant so they don't have to keep spending those hours and hours and hours a week uh, sitting by that machine. So here is uh, to sum up the parts of the urinary system, also referred to as the excretory system. The most important part is the kidney. That is the area that produces the urine. Blood goes in, it gets filtered. Um, if, if the person is dehydrated, most of the water goes back into the blood. However, if the person has a lot, it drinks a lot of water and has a lot of water, then they're going to have very watery urine or a lot of water that's going to be excreted. The uh, urine will travel down through the ureter right here and then will end up being stored in this bladder. The bladder is a muscle and it expands as it fills up. And eventually when it fills up enough, there's little um, sensory, sensory uh, neurons in there, sensory nerves in there that say, hey, you know, it's time to go. And when it's time to go, the, the bladder contracts and it squeezes that urine down through the urethra and out to the external environment or into the toilet or wherever it is that a person is relieving themselves. Anyway here guys, that concludes the excretory system. Uh, make sure that you complete the Google form below. This is Mr. Herbst here and I'm signing off. You all have a nice day.